Today I wanted to show you a very very early version of the new Tasker UI. This is an empty task where you can add actions. Now you can add actions with this button down here. This is still not done yet, this is not reworked yet, it's still the old one so let's, ju let's just add a flash action here, so something like cool. Later, when I uh, redo that uh, new action uh, screen as well, it'll look different, but right, uh, right now, this is the only screen that I'm working on. So right now I have an action with the flash action, and if I run this, it says cool. Now, each action has these options here. You can add a label, delete the action, clone, select a different action, insert actions before or after, or mani manipulate the conditions in the action. So let's start by adding a label. With labels you can uh, add little notes to your actions. So for example, this is a cool action. If you do this, this little label up here shows up showing that this is a cool action. You can even change the color of the label so each action has a different color. For example, if you set it to this color, and then you can, for example, clone this action and change the label to this is not a cool action and set the color to something like this. You can see how you can def differentiate the actions. So let's change this to not cool. Now you have two actions that flash but uh, I only want to flash this action if a certain condition is, is present. So let's put this in an if block. So insert an action before, so this action is inside it. If, if, let's say one equals one, just to test it out. Now this action is inside the if block, and as you can see, it shows this outline here showing exactly which actions are inside the block and which are not. In this case, both actions are. So let's add an and if block. And we can now, for example, long click this action, move it down, and it's clearly not inside the if block anymore as shown by this graphic here. But I only want to run this action if this condition is not true, so let's add an else block. We can add an else block after this action or before this action, so let's try the before act, before inserting before. Else, Oops, sorry, else, and now you can see that a new block has been created and you can easily put this action in there. And now this is clearly shown that the SIF block execute this, executes these actions inside here, and when it's not executed, it goes to the else block and executes this one. So if I run this, since the condition is true, as you can see there, it'll show cool. But if I make this condition not true, like this, it'll show not cool. Now, I could, for example, duplicate this action just to try it out. Clone. And as you can see, it added it there. I could add another action inside here uh, after alert beep. And now it'll do two flashes. For example, not cool and really not cool like this, and even a beep. So let's play this. Oh, sorry, this is in do not disturb mode, so you can hear the beep, but really not cool. Now I could want to make the beep sound on the true condition, like this, or whatever else I want. I could add any, any other number of actions, but now you can see how you can easily create a flow of actions with 
if and else conditions and it clearly shows what the actions are and how they will run and so on. Let's see, let's see what other options we can uh, use here. For example, I can copy these conditions, copy and put them here for example, paste. And now this action itself also has some conditions. In the future, you'll be able to edit these conditions by simply clicking here. And But right now, you just have to click the action here and manually edit the condition in the old screen. So let's say I want to run this only if two, if two, if three equals two, just to try it out. So in this case, let's see how it all works out. If two equals one, it's not true. So this inside the if will not, it will not run. Then the else will, will run. But this action itself will only run if this condition is true. Since it's not, then only this action should run. So we should only see one flash saying really not cool. And that's what happens. So everything's working. Um, so this is the new UI. Oh, you can also, if the, ta the task is getting a bit long, as you can see here, now it covers more than one screen, you can collapse the actions like this, and you can see much more of your task flow like this. So you can still see that there's an if, an else, and blocks inside it, you can see that the conditions here will not be met, so this will not run. You can see that this will run, but this has the conditions that will not run. You can still see the labels, you can still see the values of certain parameters, and you can see the whole task like this, and as you can see, like even uh, if you had doubled the, the number of actions, you would still be able to see them here. And if you run this, it'll work the same. So now you can toggle between a, a more expanded mode like this, where you can see all the values and stuff, or a smaller mode like this, where you can see the most number of actions possible. So this is the new UI, and as I said before, this is certainly not fin finalized. It's a work in progress, but this is the way we're going right now. And I hope you enjoyed it. Bye. By the way, this animation is satisfying.